with all the rain we've had, the creek is running a little bit faster than normal. A little bit higher too. If the water levels up. So this sign says 1.12 miles but it doesn't say where it's 1.12 miles from it's definitely not 1.1 miles and this one says 5 miles on this side of it I think I figured it out while I was walking this far and keeping Ruby from getting in the way of everybody that's walking on the path from the YMCA end of the trail it's five miles to here and from here down to East Richardson is 1.12 miles there comes the duck oh that's Daryl Daryl the Daryl the duck there are about three egrets down there they keep flying around I've been watching them since we came around the bend yesterday when we were out on the other end of Bacon's Bridge Road we had to walk quick because the rain was going to come I saw one that had caught a frog bigger than his head the frog was dead and he kept throwing it around and turning it around. I guess he was trying to find the skinny part so he could eat it. He dropped it in the water about half a dozen times. And finally we walked off and he was still trying to figure out how to eat that frog. Okay. We're going to walk on down and see if I can get closer to these birds. There's a cardinal right up there. And kind of following along with us. Must be a nest or something around. Oh, these birds are right up here on the edge of the path. Yeah, they keep. Oh, there goes. It really gets impossible to handle this dog on a leash and try and film steady. These guys. I'm almost positive they're egrets, but I went out, Ruby was pulling. Because they have reddish tops. But they fly with their necks back in an S shape. That's, a, that's an egret, which is really, morning which is really a member of the Heron family. And there's a bunch of them, there's a boatload of them down here when we first got out at whatever that road is. Why can I never remember that road down here? Anyways, where we normally park, Trevor. There were a bunch of them up there. There's four down here. Bicyclists are actually being very polite today. They must be watching my videos and listening to me complain about it. Oh man, there goes another one. There is everywhere down here today. That's four right here. Plus we've seen the two ducks. I'm actually trying to hold the camera. Ruby is just constantly yanking on me. And I can't just let her run loose while I'm filming because these bikes come up behind me so fast. I don't want her stretched out on the leash when they come by. Okay, we're almost at the bridge. There's a crow right up there. It's having a conversation with two other crows. And it's funny to listen to them talk back and forth.
Let's see if I can get this silly camera to focus on this thing. It's not going to focus. It's just zoomed out like this. I think it does a better job focusing in on stuff far away without the wide angle lens. There's this guy here. You can see the reddishness on him. On the top and on the front, on the chest, at the base of the neck. But it's definitely... I thought maybe they're just young egrets. There's one there. There's two down there, at least two. Here comes one in for a landing. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> These guys are fun to watch. That's actually a pretty picture right there. That bird and his reflection. This creek is muddy as crap from all the rain we've been having. Here goes Ruby. She's going to go out to the end of the leash. And here comes people. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. And take care of the dog. <laughs> you can still hear that crow. I was I was talking back to him. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> they answer me. That's the funny part. There's been a lot of traffic here. There's the birdies. Four bicyclists, bam, bam, bam. Between me and Ruby walking. It's wide angle, just will not focus in on those birds. I don't think it's made for zooming. I did see that little uh, slate gray bird down here, and from what I can tell, that's just a very young blue heron. Maybe it belongs to Betty. But. Another good view of the creek, wide angle view of the creek. More people coming. The crows are still talking to us. And if you come back over here, the bird split up. Ruby's right underneath my feet. I just stepped on her. We got a mile to go back that way. I think I'm not going to film anymore. I'm going to pay attention. And there's been a lot to see out here in terms of birds this morning. But trying to film these birds with all the bikes and Ruby is impossible. Impossible to do it well. Okay, y'all have a good day. I'm going to end the video right y'all. Bye. Actually, I lied. There goes one egret right up through there and another one down that way. Ruby's right out at the edge of the path. Here comes the bicycle. There goes. See, they're just flying all over down there. Okay, this really is the end of the video. Bye. This is Ruby's deer bush. She does not want to leave this spot. Here comes the bicyclist. She's out on a leash. Well, I could edit all this crap out, but she doesn't want to leave her deer bush. She thought I thought she might have heard something up there, but and Mr. Duck again. It's the fourth time. A little while ago, when I said I was going to quit filming, a hawk came flying down out of the trees and got something out of the grass and kept going. Okay, come on, Ruby. She just doesn't want to leave. She sees something in that bush, hears it or something. All right, bye.